Hi there, Brian Cliff Barrett, Explain Dedicated, Sim Deck. And today we're going to have a look at the Rotate MD-11. This is a freighter aircraft par excellence, right? Um, I didn't fly freighter aircraft in the past, mostly passenger aircraft, but I used to fly this in FSX when it was done by PMDG. This is the MD-11 by Rotate. Absolutely incredible for X-Plane 11. I... I must admit that when this first came out just over a week ago, it was almost unflyable for me. I was not able to land it. I did not capture one ILS approach, and I must have done 10 flights. There were also problems with LNAV. The plane was wandering all over the place. Uh, some of the takeoffs were a little bit ropey as well, departures, but patches have been released, and um, it flies. It flies not perfectly, there's still a couple of little bugs, but they've sorted out the ILS and a couple of other things as well. Uh, there is a full list of those available. And now I would highly recommend this aircraft. If you're the type of person that likes a challenge and you wanna learn something and really challenge yourself on the learning, then this is the aircraft for you. As you can see, we've got this new menu system here, which sorts out fuel, etc., fuel load, trip load, cargo, etc., taxi fuel, the lot. And you have to do this very precisely to make sure that the aircraft is well balanced and will take off and perform as you wish it to. Um, so you do have to get your weights and balances correct. The features on this aircraft are absolutely incredible. There are over 200 custom failures that have been produced and included if you so wish. It is immense. The graphics in this, the, the it just looks so good. I, I've seen some pretty ropey aircraft in my time, but this looks just amazing. The things they've done with it, it's, it's superb. And I, I like the way the texturing is done. You've got scratches and marks on the uh, yoke. Uh, the, there's no carpets on the floor by your rudder pedals. It's uh, textured outside. It's just absolutely superb. Uh, the number of features on this aircraft are the, the list just goes on and on and on. You go to explain.org and you go into the store and have a look, and it's got a full list of features. Everything's on there. Engines, APU fire test, annunciator lights test, cabin cargo fire test, GPWS test. It's got tests on every single system. Uh, the air management system has is fully implemented. All systems actually work. So, you know, it's not just a graphic that's lighting up. It's actually doing something in the model. Um, you've got APU system indication and control, APU automatic shutdown, APU pneumatic system, air pressurization, um, which can catch people out. Caught me out a couple of times in the first couple of days. Um, DC power, um, You've got AC power and DC power, fully realized uh, systems, absolutely superb. Now, admittedly, as I said before, there were a few bugs when this came out and th they have been sorted out. Rotate have got a very, very good reputation and when they you know, fix something, they fix it. Uh, and so this is very flyable from now on. I would say though, um, that you will need to read the manual, okay? You, it's not an aircraft you can just jump in and fly. You need to read the manual, or read the tutorial, and maybe even print off the normal checklist to help you out. Uh, it's what I've done. And over the period of a couple of days, you know, I've got the uh, startup routine sorted out and, you know, was able to fly this perfectly. Here you see me on, on my flight uh, from Cardiff to Manchester. Uh, just a short flight uh, uh, in the FedEx livery. Aircraft looking really good. S some people have complained that the wings are too dirty and they should clean them up a little bit. But it's a, a cargo aircraft uh, transporting cargo around the world. So, you know, they do get a little bit dirty. Carrying on looking through some of the uh, systems here, a uh, hydraulic system is uh, another system that you need to be aware of and when you test uh, and make sure that the hydro hydraulics are up to pressure you've got to wait for the indication on the EAD to make sure that the hydraulic system is fully uh, primed. Um, ice and rain protection, um, 
every page of the FMS is replicated. So you've got aircraft status pages, reference index, flight plan initialization, weight initialization, the fuel initialization, performance, climb, cruise and descent, thrust limits, flight planning, everything. All pages have been replicated. It's just truly, truly wonderful. Um, I, I was a little bit, um, let's say, I, I was a little bit worried that maybe after five years that um, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as complex as it is. I know that at one point uh, the developers lost all their work um, through computer failure, I believe, and they had to restart again. And that's why it's taken five years. Some people have said, oh, it's taken too long. We're waiting, we're waiting. And it's been rushed out. It hasn't been rushed out. It has been released when it was ready to be released. What I am a little bit disappointed about is that the beta testers didn't catch the bugs. Um, and that is surprising to me because some of the bugs were really quite prominent. You couldn't miss them. So um, they've got a large list of beta testers uh, and I don't know how they missed those bugs. Uh, maybe that's a question to be answered in the near future not, and not by the likes of me. So uh, how much does it cost? Did I tell you how much it costs? It costs. $83.95 American, £63.97 in the UK, and if you're buying it using euros, it's going to cost you €98.98. ,98. Some people might say it's expensive in comparison to PMDG, which was almost £100, I think. It's a lot, it's a lot cheaper. It's still expensive this day and age, but a lot cheaper than the original one by PMDG. So... You pay your money and you take what you get. With this aircraft, I think you pay your money and you get a really good aircraft. Full disclosure, I actually paid for this. I wasn't given it on review by anybody, so I bought it on the first day of release. Uh, slightly disappointed on the first day, but you know now everything's fine. And as you can see, here I am coming into 05 left at Manchester. Uh, I was set up for 23 right originally, and then... Uh, Things changed and I needed to alter my FMS for zero five left, which was a little bit of a complex uh, maneuver because uh, I was pretty close. I was at uh, I was already at Mercy uh, for the Mercy One Alpha uh, when I noticed that the wind had changed radically and I needed to get onto zero five left, which we did. And here you can see I've disengaged the autopilot to around about a thousand feet and coming into land. It was perfect, absolutely perfect. Rock solid, aircraft trimmed out. And as we come over the, uh, the kind of boundary fence here, mind the trees. Who put a tree there? And uh, yeah, perfect. On the center line, zero five left, Manchester. So is it worth getting? Well. Only you can make that decision. I've told you about the aircraft, I've told you about the systems, and I've told you how much shit costs. Only you can make that decision as to whether you buy it or not, not me. This is why Cliff Barrett, X-Plane de -Plane Dedicated Sim Deck. We've changed our name. Uh, I'm gonna get some new logos and what have you soon, I hope. Here you see me coming on to stand. I hope you found the review useful. Give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and leave a comment as well, because the YouTube algorithm loves all of that kind of stuff, and it helps me out as well. I don't earn a lot of money from YouTube, but I do like to produce videos for my uh, members. We'll see you all soon now. Take care, stay safe. Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane Dedicated Syndec. We'll see you soon. Cheerio.